Well, welcome home. How's it feel to be back? I mean, you're a busy, busy guy, but be back in your hometown must be great. It feels amazing. Oh, good stuff. Well, congratulations on this. And what a, you know, what a great movie, I think. And what a great message for kids. When you first read the script, what was it about it that you thought, geez, I really want to be a part of this one? Um, oh, anything about animation I'm kind of attracted to because I love being in the recording studio. And I love not going through that long process. I love going short and stuff and being home faster. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I heard Rise of the Guardians was coming out and I heard Hugh Jackman was in it and all these huge successful stars were coming to be in it, it's a great experience. Yeah, tell me yeah. a little bit about doing voice work because you aren't a stranger to doing that. Mm -hmm. But often you have to work by yourself. You're in a booth by yourself. You have nobody to play off of. Do you like that? Do you find it a challenge or is it just an easy thing to do for you? I think it's a, a challenge because you have no one to react off to. Um, yeah, it's definitely a challenge. So how do you get into a character? I mean, I get, I know you have a director there, like, do this, do that. But how do you get into a mindset of somebody like Jamie? Uh, just think what he's going through. I mean, think of all the kids that don't believe in them, and you're the only one. So feel that loneliness about you, and feel trying to convince them that he's right, and that he saw them, he, they're real. Yeah, and what was it like for you growing up as a kid? Were you a believer? <laughs> yes, I was a believer, a very big believer. Who was your, what was the thing that you really, the guys, for me, it was always the tooth fairy. Like, I could never tell, when I was a little girl, never believe that my parents were putting that money under the under my pillow, you know? But mm -hmm. what, what was it for you? Uh, um, what was the big thing? Yeah, like, was there, you know, something that you really kind of like, yes, I'm going to believe in Santa until I'm 110. It was know? Easter Bunny. Uh. I'd wake up, like, 6 in the morning going to get the eggs before my brothers could. And I, I'd, I'd love Easter. I'd wake up so early every morning for it. Yeah, it's fun. That's a fun holiday. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, getting, uh, for sure. And you get, it's a good payoff at the mm -hmm. end, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, do you th you th I was going to ask you, like, do you think that it is important for kids to have something like this to believe in? Yes, because it brings that spirit inside of you. It brings that happiness to you. And I think everyone needs that. Was there anybody on this movie that you got to work with, or were you completely on your own? For completely on my own. Yeah. So it. what's it like, you know, Dakota, when you're watching a movie like this or any other animated thing that you do, and you see this character up on screen, and you hear your voice coming out of it. How do you feel when you see that? Uh, I feel like, uh, what's the word? I feel in, sort of embarrassed in a way, because I'm kind of like nerve-wracking if it's good, if it's not. So I kind of can't tell by my facial expressions. I can't tell if it's the right voice for it. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. Yeah, but is it weird for you to kind of like, do I really sound like that? People don't think that they sound like they sound. Yeah, you can't really hear the same voice in your ears. Yeah, yeah it's kind of funny. Um, you're a busy, busy guy, and you just kind of finished uh, working with uh, great director Darren Aronofsky yes. on Noah, which everyone, I think, is just clamoring to see. What's it like to work with a director like him? Um, he's amazing. It doesn't even feel like work, and I'm working with him. Um, he's just so talented, and you, he knows you know what he's looking for because he tells you just straight up. Uh, he's an amazing director. Yeah. yeah, and you worked in Iceland for that, huh? Yes, I did. How much time did you get to spend out there? Two weeks. Whoa. Yeah. What did you think of that? That's an amazing country. It, it is. There's one little city in the middle where everyone lives, and then it's all open for like thousands of miles. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Good opportunity. And then another film you have, Dark Skies, and that's with, uh, what, Carrie Russell? Uh, yes, yes. And what's that one about? Uh, it's a horror movie about aliens, and they're kind of messing with my family and their minds. Ooh, so, sounds good. Yeah. Are you a horror freak? Do you like that kind of stuff? Yeah, I love horror movies. And aliens? I've seen pretty much all of them. Do so. you watch Walking Dead? Yes. Yeah, so you like zombies? Yes. Awesome. I'm a zombie <laughs> fan myself, too. How, what do you say to your friends? You know, how do they treat you now that, you know, you're a big star? So what's it like, you know, to hang out with your friends, and how do they interact with you? Um, I don't really bring my movie career into my, in my friends and family life because, like, I want them to treat me for who I am and not, like... Uh, someone who's in movies. Yeah, well, that's good, and they respect yeah. that, I, I would think. Yes, they do. Uh, yeah. uh, amazing. And so how, what kind of advice do you have to young kids that want to go out there and want to pursue a career like you? Uh, to follow your dreams, because if you try your best and you keep trying and trying, you'll eventually get over it. Awesome. Well, good luck to you. This is really great. You did a good job, and uh, I hope we get to talk to you for your next one. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you, Dakar. Thank, Thank you. you.